plugging with no thought box. Make them meet it in the truck top. Think she is, but she not hot. Rats coming in non stop. Deep rocks on that crop top. Rocks on that crop. I took your bed to the shop shop. He ain't fucking with no thought hi guys welcome back to another episode with lots of lots so guys please make sure you check out my now artist md nails i'll have all of her information underneath the video so let's get started Mwah. today we're going to be working with sign knows your hair um you can find them on aliexpress and i'm going to be working with their beautiful deep wave ring today so i was sent some eyelashes with the hair and i was also sent some wig caps Guys, I was originally sent a black 13 by 4 wig, but I dyed it because I have literally been so bored of black hair recently. So I decided to put some highlights in the hair. Um, it's more like a dyed at the bottom type of look. Um, but yeah, the hair reacted to it very nicely. It was still very soft. So now I'm just going to put the wig on. Um, as you can see, it's lace transparent. It's just, it's amazing. I don't even, I'm not even speaking English at this point. I just loved it. Um, so I've just put the color on the cap and I'm just going to move it a little bit back just so that I have enough space because sometimes when you move it too forward, you can see it. So I'm going to grab my famous clips, which you can get anywhere, Poundland, Hair Shop, Primark, and I'm just going to clip the hair back just so that when I start cutting, I can see everything just gonna grab my bold hold now and I'm just gonna start applying it on my forehead and um, in some little dots I always do the little dots just because it's easier to manage now I'm gonna grab an eyebrow razor and with the end of it I'm just going to smooth out the little dots this just makes it easier to dry um, as you can see the little bit of glue is going on the wig cap that just makes the wig cap blend in when it's underneath the frontal it's just a little tip that I picked up along the way after this step I'm gonna blow dry the hair and then I'm gonna repeat this step once more um, it depends on the type of hair you have this type of skin you have sorry if you have really oily skin then I repeat this three or four times so now that we have finished blow drying the glue should be transparent just like this and now we're going to lift the lace frontal on top of the glue and we're gonna secure it down um, try to do it bit by bit like I'm doing I've done the front and then I'm gonna do the sides it just makes it easier and makes it more precise now that all sides have been stuck down i'm gonna do a little bit of blow drying to make sure that it melts in with the frontal and this is where the magic starts people so now we're gonna start um cutting the lace i'm just gonna grab my favorite pair of scissors and i'm gonna cut in the middle and then from the middle i'm gonna make my way down one side i like to do one side and then do the other side um some people like to go all the way around it's just about finding what works for you you guys take anything from this video i need you to take that you do not cut in straight lines so when you're going around your hairline like you can see i'm doing you have to zigzag the hair because no hairline is straight and i know i scream this in every video but literally a straight hairline and a jagged hairline is will be the difference between good and bad hair so now i'm just going to put a bit more color on the lace because it was still looking very white on my skin and as you can see it's just helped it to blend in a bit better now we're gonna cut around the ears so i'm gonna get a little pair of scissors and i am just going to cut literally in the shape of my ear don't over complicate this guy this bit guys literally just cut in the shape of your ear so now i'm gonna stick down the ear flaps and i'm just gonna put a little bit of bold hold underneath them um i've got some little flaps also standing up at the top of my head so i'm going to do the exact same there um do try to rub it out until it goes transparent before sticking it down because if you don't you're going to see the white under the lace so 
So now I'm gonna blow dry for about two to three minutes and then I'm gonna stick the little flaps down. Now that everything's stuck down, I'm just going to pin my hair up and I'm going to wrap my hair with a headband just so that I can blow dry for about 10 minutes. Um, these are the best headbands to get. They're really stretchy and they actually lay their hair so well. You can get them at the hair shop. That's the best place to get them. You can get them in loads of different types of lengths. They can cut it for you. You can get short, long, however you feel like getting it, baby. So yeah, I'm just going to blow dry once more. There's a lot of blow drying in this process, guys. But trust me, blow drying plus headbands are the best thing you can do to lay your front wall. Like, it's not a fucking joke, okay? Hey, right. Right, so after blow drying, I'm now going to take it off and don't be surprised at how sexy I'm going to look. I'm so pretty. So as you can see, that's proper melted in. <laughs> I've actually got problems. Um, and now we're going to get to styling because everything is now stuck down. So now we're going to start plucking the hair. Favourite step now, guys, the baby hairs. So as you know, I'm a big baby hair fan. So I'm just going to separate my baby hairs before I pluck. Some people take their baby hairs out after they pluck, but I just don't think that makes sense because I just feel like if you get a baby hairs out of the way you can't ruin them and then you start plucking so now I'm going to do this wherever I want baby hairs remember baby hairs are up to you whatever style you feel like doing you should do don't feel like you can't do your baby hairs big or small or wispy or whatever however you feel like doing but this is how I like mine big and bouncy so right now I'm just separating the baby hairs so that I can start plucking so now I'm going to grab my tweezer guys that I got from the hair shop I get everything from the hair shop but please do make sure that your tweezer is sharp the sharper the tweezer is the better it is to pluck because you'll be able to pluck much faster but with my lace it was very soft so you do have to be careful not to make holes because new tweezers can be very sharp so do be gentle okay be gentle so now i'm going to part my hair in a middle parting this just helps me because like i always do i always do one side then i do the other side so i'm just going to put a middle parting in the hair now I'm gonna grab my hot comb, um, my wall or whale, I don't know how to pronounce it, hot comb that I got from the hair shop, and I'm just gonna hot comb my hair into position. This is just so that it's easier to pluck because I can see everything properly. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna skip the plucking section just because I feel like that is something that needs a whole video. If you guys do want a whole video on plucking, please put it underneath the comments and I will get that done for you. So I'm just gonna skip this part because I just don't think it's important so now that the plucking is done I've hot combed it and I'm now gonna start cutting the baby hairs so with the baby hairs guys please always cut in a downwards motion so like a diagonal type of motion just because no baby hairs are straight and this just makes it look more natural okay guys always cut downwards so now I'm going to grab my Gorilla Glue and I'm just going to use my little slick brush to style the baby hairs into place. Like I'd already said, the baby hairs, however you want them, is up to you. But this is just how I like it. I like loads of swoops. Um, I like loads of baby hairs. So I'm just going to style them now and just keep them exactly where I want them for when I wrap them. So, put on some makeup. I know she's so pretty. I know. Let's just get over it. I know she's gorgeous. Look, look at her. Yeah, wow, amazing. Okay, so now I've put on some makeup because I'm going out and I'm going to spray my face quickly and then i'm gonna take off this band on my head but guys like just don't listen i got a man don't fall in love that's what i'm saying all right love you guys gonna take it off now and i've had it on for <laughs> she's so pretty guys like i'm jealous of me that's me and i'm jealous of her like how does that work do you know what i mean like tell this girl i want to be her that's what i want you guys to do someone message her and say i want to be her okay wow so now i'm just gonna take out my hair and i'm gonna wet it and i'm gonna show you guys the final look So just gonna put some water and conditioner in my hair now gonna spray it in there once again it's up to you how you like your look but i like my hair 
kind of wet so that's what we're going for now so guys this is the final look thank you so much for watching my collaboration with Sai Noja Hair I love you guys make sure you like subscribe and share Mwah! have a fantastic day I guess weekend I was gonna say weekend but it might not be where, weekend where you are so bye guys Mwah! love you